Hi everyone, welcome to Sam's Arc Math and in this video we are going to see an interesting topic. In the last video we have seen what are the properties of quadrilateral, isn't it? And in this video we are going to see properties of trapezium. If you didn't watch the last video, don't worry, I have given the link in the description. Watch the properties of quadrilateral video and then watch this video. Come let's go to the video. Properties of trapezium. Trapezium. What is a trapezium? Now let us consider the figure A, B, C, D. It's a quadrilateral, isn't it? Because it has four sides. A trapezium also has four sides. Namely A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. Parallel lines. A trapezium has only one pair of parallel lines. Now in the figure, just check it out. AB is parallel to CD, isn't it? So AB is parallel to CD, hence this quadrilateral is known as a trapezium. And it has the angle sum property of a quadrilateral also, that is, sum of all its interior angles is equal to 360 degree. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. The diagonal. The diagonals of a trapezium intersect each other inside the figure. Now let us draw a diagonal. Diagonals. That is AC and BD. When we draw AC and BD, they intersect each other inside the figure, isn't it? So AC and BD are the diagonals of the trapezium. So a trapezium, if it has four sides and has only one pair of parallel lines and sum of all its interior angle is equal to 360 degree has two diagonals which intersect each other inside the figure then it is known as a trapezium. Now let us learn what is meant by an isosceles trapezium. Now let us consider the figure ABCD. ABCD is a trapezium where AB is parallel to CD, isn't it? If the sides AD and BC are equal then it is known as an isosceles trapezium that is if the non-parallel sides of an trapezium are equal then it is known as isosceles trapezium here the side AD is equal to the side BC hence ABCD is an isosceles trapezium and in this video we have seen what is meant by trapezium and the properties of trapezium that is it has four sides and has only one pair of parallel lines and sum of all its interior angles equals to 360 degree and the diagonal intersect each other inside the figure and we have seen that if the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are equal then it is known as an isosceles trapezium hence thank you for watching the video if you like the video hit the like button thank you